Hey, what well, man, Mike? Hey, man, this is a rant that I have to do. I, I had to do this because I am so sick and tired. I am beyond freaking tired of hearing fans complain about everybody on the roster. Like, everybody on the roster has to be an all-pro. Everybody that we draft has to be all-pro. Now, everyone that we have to on the roster has to be someone that we know. Well, God damn it! let me tell you something. People are going to suck. Again, people are going to suck. Not everyone is going to be an all pro. Not everyone you're going to know. Not everyone on the fucking team is going to be Deion Jones. Not everyone on that damn team is going to be Ken O'Neill, okay? Not everyone in the league can be a Khalil Mack. Not everyone is going to be good. So Atlanta Falcons fans, we have to stop with the unrealistic expectations for whether it's coaches or players. Stop trying to make everyone an all-pro. Because this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous for the expectations that Atlanta Falcons fans have. That Falcons fans have the idea in their head that we're just going to have a bunch of team players on one team that we know. That we have expectations for everyone on the team. That they're just going to make all the great plays. We're going to have all the best players. We're gonna, like this is a game of freaking Madden. Guess what, people? We're going to have someone on a team that sucks. Guess what? The Patriots, even though they won Super Bowl, guess what? They have players on their team that sucks. They have players on their team that makes mistakes. They have coaches on the team that makes mistakes. It, it really irritates me to a point that I lose freaking control. When we sign someone that no one knows about, or you haven't heard, or you haven't taken the time out to do the proper research on the guy, then you say, who the hell is this? Who is this guy? I've never heard of him before. He freaking sucks. Well, guess what? He sucks for a reason. That's the reason why we signed him to a one-year deal. Worth a hundred grand. Two hundred grand. Four hundred million. Four hundred thousand. I can't even freaking think right now because I'm so pissed off at fans. Like, well, we have this unrealistic expectation that everyone on the damn team has to be great. Like, like, seriously, these guys were signed and drafted for a reason. All right? A guy like Duke Riley. All right? We got to stop with the un real unrealistic expectation for this guy. Guess what? He was drafted in the third round for a reason. He wasn't a first rounder. If the guy was drafted in the first round, I could say, okay, we're going to look at this guy and we say, okay, he's a bust, he's a bust, he's a bust. But he's drafted in the, in, the, in, the, in the lower rounds, okay? I, I'm just so heated right now. I, I, I'm so heated right now because we have these unrealistic expectations for players that we know are going to suck from the very beginning. That they weren't that great from the very beginning. There were project players from the very beginning. They know we didn't sign a lot of these guys to make a contract to be all pro players. All right? There's going to be ups and downs. Whether you're the best player or you're the worst player, there's going to be ups and downs. So, Falcons fans, enough with the unrealistic expectations. There's going to be players on every team that's going to suck. So that's all I have to say about that. I'm gone. Peace.